Soundstripe. Hey y'all, what's happening? What's poppin'? Today we will be taking apart a pair of Nike Hyper Adapt 1.0s, the shoe of the future, the shoe that laces itself. These shoes go for 720 US dollars. That's a lot, but you consider the clean design, the simple, beautiful colors, the materials that are used, and right here, check out this action. Bam! Laced up. Bam! Unlaced. Absolutely perfect. And the LED to show you the action is happening. Soft on the inside. Right here, we have the electronics inside the shoes. You can see these are the buttons that unlace and lace the shoes. Check out that action. And with the LED lights too. Bam! Now let's take a deeper look and undo these screws. Let's undo these screws and take a deeper look. See what's really happening inside. These combination of gears give the high torque needed to lace these bad boys up. They also have the ability to pull the laces very tight to adjust to the shape of your foot. Motor. This is a very high speed motor which converts speed into torque using the gearbox. This is the connector which connects the two bottoms. The heel sensor, the five LEDs, and the motor sensor. This is the motor sensor which tells the motor how many revolutions to turn when unlacing. This is the rechargeable battery which is 3.7 volts and 630 mAh which powers the whole shoe. These are the LED strips which light up on the side of the shoe when unlacing and lacing the shoe. Now there is a white tape on the bottom of the case to hold all eight magnets in place. Without these magnets, the charger wouldn't be correctly positioned each time you wanted to charge your shoe. So these magnets are super important. Look at how clean the layout is. Let's get all these electronics out of the case. Now this is the upper part and the laces of the shoe. They use finger trap type laces to compress when the shoe is tightening. This gives the ability to force the shoe open when unlacing, otherwise they won't unlace properly. The tongue has two pieces of elastic attached on either side to help slip the shoe on and off. This is the back heel cap of the shoe and it holds five LED lights right here. Last but not least, this is the sole which has a full lens plastic insert to hold the motor and the electronics to keep them secure inside the shoe. Weatherproof, y'all. If you have any comments or questions, make sure to drop a line in the comment section below and subscribe to Professor Sneakers. 